Okay, you know what? We started the last two episodes off with the burp, so we'll start off this episode with that. <coughs> with the explosion of my dying lungs. <laughs> yep. <coughs> hey, you gotta last at least one series. This is gonna be a thing. Okay, so in about, like, the second or third episode, <coughs> I say, like, oh, hey, look at this, but we're not gonna get to it at the very end. Which is actually kind of... Right. I kind of like that. It's like, they sort of, like, say, like, they keep you interested in this until the very end. So if basically... you remember. That's the fun of it, though. Well, then... <laughs> okay, so I was actually gonna bring this up, you know, making you hunt for Goofy Goober coins. That actually, like, I like that, because it makes you like, hey, we put a lot of effort in this game, and we want you to enjoy yourself, so, you know. Okay, but anyway, anyway. I'm, I'm diverting. So, what you do is, now that we have the Sonic guitar... Oh, yeah, yes, very nice. Watch this. It's like a ring <laughs> challenge, like you do in the sliding levels and the driving levels. Oh, but you have to, like, at, fly it through... Yeah, the... it's, oh, shit. it's basically like you're uh, flying a drone. Star Fox, man. Some Star Fox shit. Yeah. Do it. Eh. There, there's no barrel rolls. <laughs> which are actually aileron rolls. Air, aileron, aileron. What do I usually I say? Know. Like areola rolls. <laughs> That's ah! sad. That sounds like it could be an airplane like a maneuver or a sexual, a sexual term. term or... Uh, a kind of sushi. <laughs> an areola roll. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like it's mostly it's like a fish base, but then like a tiny bit of rice on top. Like just one rice. <laughs> <that's> like, <nipple. laughs> <laughs> it's just a lump of pink pink salmon <laughs> or tuna on like a base of tilapia or something. <coughs> I don't think that's how sushi works, Nick. Fuck, I don't know. I don't even know what tilapia is. Yeah, it's a, it's, fish, a, it's right? a white fish, I think. Hey guys, can I. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, other fish. Hey, are you uh, ready to go to school? Uh, can someone hold my fanny pack? No. Did, did you catch it? Did you make a school joke about <laughs> fish? <laughs> I, I can't work with you anymore. Eh, too bad. You're stuck with me. Um, <coughs> oh, you, you never... Okay, I sent this to you the other day. Uh -huh. You know how in the ending of Finding Nemo, some way... Oh, yeah, I didn't respond to that because A, I forgot, and B, I didn't remember what you were talking about. Thanks. Um, <laughs> but, like, think... Okay, <coughs> as, as, as many people know, you know, if, come on, who hasn't seen Finding Nemo? Oh, yeah. Like, freaking every 1920s kids. Anyway, um... <laughs> But at the end, they sing somewhere da -da -da -da, beyond the sea. It's talking about Merlin's wife. Merlin? Marlin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Merlin was just a lonely wizard who helped out King Arthur. No, but he had a love interest. Who, uh, well, she locked him inside a tree for eternity. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a bitch. Yeah, bit of a bitch. But yeah, Marlin's wife. I can see that. Yeah, and I... And I realized it the other day, and I was like, oh. And when he dies, he can go beyond the sea to yeah. be with her. Oh. And never again. He'll go sailing. Oh. Bye-bye, sailing. Go so long, sailing. Bye-bye, sailing. You know, that's super poignant and everything, but Finding Nemo has so been killed for me. What? Beca because... It was like the one movie they showed in class. Yeah, it came out like when we were in late elementary school, right? Yeah, and then I, I, I kind of it was like the go-to movie for every substitute teacher. There's also Cars and every well, movie no. day. I didn't watch Cars. It was always Finding Nemo. Wait, no, no, I, uh, my Cars memory is something different. Than that. Occasionally it was like, like in a biology or something. Occasionally it was like Osmosis Jones. Oh, fucking Osmosis Jones! Ah. But okay. Osmosis Jones and Finding Nemo were like 80% of the movies I watched. Yeah. In, during my school experience. Also a bit of Shrek. Ah, uh, not really. No, no, no. Was it Madagascar? I didn't, I didn't, no, I never watched either of those. I'm telling you, class. Finding Nemo was pretty much the only movie anyone ever showed for me. It's a really, it's a really good movie, though. Like, I don't know. Mr. Watson, our uh, French teacher. Yeah. Oh, God. Shout out to Watson. Yeah, shout out to Mr. Frickin'. Monsieur Dublevet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about yeah. that. I feel like a horrible person for forgetting that. He, um, Who's the best? he showed us a lot of good movies. Oh, a lot yeah. of different oh. movies. Oh, like freaking Chocolat. Yeah. That with with Yoni, Johnny Depp. Yoni Depp. <laughs> <laughs> Was that uh, was that French or like Swedish? I'm not Yanny sure. Depp. <laughs> Yanny Depp and Hing and Flingen. Oh, are Hingen. you going to? Your... Oh, why don't you get a yab? Uh, I think yesterday was uh, Leif Erikson Day. Oh, was it? Just playing Hing SpongeBob. Hing a ding a durgen. Hing a ding a durgen. That actually is something in Norse. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is Leif Erikson Day. They made all that shit up. Oh, for the come show. on! I thought that actually wasn't Leif Erikson. Nope, day. I looked it up. Then how could yesterday have been Leif Erikson Day? Because it's the date they said on the show. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. <coughs> He's I mean, like, there was October, a day that 
that Lee Ferrickson, de- Lee Ferrickson came to. I was so close as well. Um, there should, there was should a day be a that, holiday. Yeah, there was a day where Lee Ferrickson discovered America. Let me look that up again, just yeah, to see. It. I keep looking things up these last couple episodes. Yeah, I know. It sort of kills the conversation. Cause <laughs> Sorry. I, I gotta freaking make sure we don't go into radio silence. <coughs> a term I kind of know what it means. Not entirely. Um, I do not claim to be an expert. Oh, on maybe thing. it is a real thing. Yeah, it is you. a real thing. Fuck you, All bitch. Right. It recognizes the contributions of Americans of Nordic descent. There you go, man. Which, right. uh, besides ancient history, didn't play much of a big part. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, Greenland. Yeah. Go is on. a thing because of them. Continue. Is um, that America? Is that like America? Well, yeah. <coughs> North America. Yeah, Greenland's yeah. in North America. Not America, like. America. The- not USA America, the actual continent America! Of America. Fuck yeah! Coming again to say the motherfucking dick, yeah! We might actually get taken down because that was such a good condition. <laughs> Freaking smooth groove. Is- no, no, I do not claim to be any as good as smooth <clears throat> groove. Can anyone ever? Dude, have you heard his freaking moon level from DuckTales video? No, I haven't. Oh my god. That's all. That's such a beautiful. I love everything that Freaking man Disney does Capcom now. games. Yeah. I love how this feels like one of those flight games in an arcade. Yeah. I like that, too. It's, uh, I gotta admit, this this is pretty different. Like, yeah! For yeah. a bonus level. Come on, man. It's not a bonus level. Well, I guess well, it is. Yeah, it is. It's... Yeah, I suppose. It's a mini game. It's just not one that you see that often in this kind of platformer. Yeah, boom! Like, it's not the kind of mini game that's unheard of. It's just not something I would expect in this kind in of game. In a platformer, game. yeah. And yeah. that's what I like about it. It's got variety. Yeah, what I'm basically doing is just, we decided oh. to just make an episode of me going through, I think there's only three of them, but, uh... But going through the ones that... Oh, they scattered them across... Well, I mean, you guess you kind of unlock that move at the end. Yeah. So, scattering them across the rest of the game is a good way to make you replay levels. Yeah, man! Yeah. Now, this <laughs> one fucking killed me when I was a kid, and I'll, and I'll say it when it comes up, and it made me so fucking mad until I figured it out, and I was like, fuck you... All right. Continue with your story. What story? I forget. <laughs> I don't think I was telling a story. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. All awesome. right. What are we going to talk about now? Well, I just made an Alice in Wonderland quote. We can talk about that. Uh, That's my fucking jam, man. Yeah, I like Alice in Wonderland. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> and it is cool. I mean, it got me into acting. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So that was cool. Oh, God. Changed the next decade of my life. <laughs> yeah, me too. <coughs> well, except... Oh, well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I also like how you can just sort of, like, bail out at any time just by exploding the sonic wave. Um, anyway. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you I just jump and yeah, it cancels like, the whole game? Yeah, because, like, I didn't make the... Uh, I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Uh, I mean, I guess that's not a big deal. That's not, a, that's not technically game? a bug. It's just, like, nobody's gonna do that. Like, yeah, it's they just like, didn't... It's, why would you think to fix that? Yeah. But anyway. Uh, that's funny. They didn't... Excuse me. They didn't have proper quality assurance. Fuck you. Yeah, they did. <laughs> THQ good games. Um, like every lots Nickelodeon. and lots of movie and TV show tie-ins. Mainly and, and for then, uh, like Darksiders. Oh yeah, I forgot to make Darksiders. I think we talked about that at the beginning of the oh, playthrough. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, all right, there we go. Oh uh, yeah, that's what it was. Um. Oh yeah, for so for people who don't know, back at uh, back at well in your home, um. We are somewhat of. Uh, we, we, can we call ourselves experienced actors? All we've done is like. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. I didn't know where it was. Like, okay, there's that ring. Oh. But now I gotta like pull up. No. Oh my god. It just opens at the last second. Like freaking get smart. Okay. 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 I, I saw. You didn't have you to came, yell. You came. You conquered. Vinny, Vidi, you're yelling and hurting my ear. What is? What's like the perverted way of that? It's like. Uh, let's see. I can't. I saw. I, came, I saw, I conquered. It's like, I saw, I conquered, I came. Uh, you never heard that before? No, I think I have. <clears throat> so, Vici... No, 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 no. Vidi, no, Vinny. No, 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 Vici, Vidi, Vinny. Uh, tailspin there. Uh, oh, we, oh, tailspin. Oh, we... I never watched that as a kid. That was one I, I never got heard into. Of I never heard of that as a kid. I was like, this is Baloo from the Jungle Book, but he's flying planes for I know, some reason. I freaking launched Bad McQuack. 
Who's in every Donald, well, in all the duck cartoons? He's the constant in that universe. He really is. And I'm fine with that. I love Launchpad. As much as I do, he's, he, <coughs> I love him as a sidekick. Like, I... I define I define how I like series by the by the sidekicks. Mm -hmm. However, it's a rare case where I like Darkwing Duck just a little bit more. Like yeah. in, in uh, Ducktales, I probably like him more. Well, Darkwing's he's a sillier character. Like Launchpad's pretty silly, but Darkwing Duck is sillier. Ah, oh, fuck it. I love I love Darkwing Duck. Yeah, that was one I kind of got into. I never heard of it until I was like a couple years ago. I remember it was on like Disney XD. No, before Disney XD. Before Disney XD? Yeah, it was on, like, WB in the morning or something. One of those, like, What kids... was it called? Um, Jetix. No, before Jetix. Jetix. Oh my god, before Jetix? Jetix is still... Nothing is before Jetix. Yes, Jetix is, like, super recent, dude. No, it ain't. I mean, it's not super recent, dude. but of the kids' channels that I watch, I was watching that one when I was, like, eight. I'm talking about, like... Well, that's, when, that's the era when I was, like, watching. I'm talking about, like... Four and five when I first started watching cartoons. Freaking Jetix had shows like Yin Yang Yo, Yin Yang Yo, Yin Yang Yo. I mean, like when I was barely not a toddler anymore, mm. Gargoyles came on right after <sighs> Darkwing Duck. I remember Garg. Uh, well, I took the wrong turn now. Who? Gargoyles. I, I never got into it much. I was one of Alex's shows, but yeah, I do remember. It's like, I think I was actually scared of it because it was like too dark an atmosphere. I mean, like. I've never, like, since I was a kid, I've never been freaked out by atmospheres like that, ever. It was mostly just, like, like I know how my my imagination sort of, like, runs away with me at times, so it's like, I'm afraid of myself. Like, it's for the same reason I get, like, hopped up when I watch mafia yeah. movies and my emotions. Whenever I'm watching, it, it can have no jump scares, it can just be all mood, but that's enough. You yeah. know, which is actually good. That's the proper way to do horror, in my opinion. Yeah. But, um, because my imagination will run away with me, like, one time. When they first introduced Enderman, Enderman, into, um, <laughs> into, what's Minecraft. it? Minecraft. Yeah. I didn't know Slenderman at the time. I only knew Enderman. Mm -hmm. And when I was crossing the yard one time, I was like, I knew they were just a bunch of pixels in a game. Yet, I was like, it was really oh dark God, out. they're everywhere. Yeah, I was like, okay, I know they're not here, but my mind's going to start thinking they're there. And I just started running to, to like, <laughs> avoid the uh -huh. time that my mind would, like, freaking haunt me. Which, I've by just, the way, did you know a group of Endermen is called a haunting? They actually have a turn. I did not know that. <laughs> well. Should we just cut it off in there? Uh, well, I want to finish what I've been trying to say. Never. Um, like, I always recognized that things, you know, are <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Again? <laughs> I, was, I kept pressing A to skip through the Are You Ready Kids. Ah, uh, gotcha. Which, by the way, nice touch, DHU. Thank you. Thank you for that. But, like, I've always like recognize things are creepy and been like oh that's a creepy atmosphere but it doesn't do creep now. me out i can do that for the most part now like adam's family like, well adam's family is hard <laughs> yeah creepy, creepy. which is kind of intentional although i don't know maybe back in the 50s certain people would have found that super creepy i love it because tv was so restrained at the time oh. even though things like you know theater and, weren't and it's funny because even though adam's family is like super sunshine day camp it's like it's still I don't know. It's somehow macabre, but not. It's it's amazing. Well, I feel like I love it for that. I feel like if they hadn't been on, like the, I'm sure, like I've never read any of the comic strips, but I'm sure comic the comics. Strips. Yeah, it was from a comic strip. Charles Adams wrote a comic strip based on his family called the Adams Family. You didn't know this? I never knew this. Yeah, it was from like the 30s. Was it like a newspaper comic? Or? Yeah, it was like one of those one-panel deals, and then they made a a TV show out of it like 20 years later. I need to look into this. I, uh, yeah. He, he was an artist and he did all kinds of like drawings and stuff and he was like, my Fuck family. Fuck you in particular. Oh my God. Yeah. Have you, you've not finished this challenge yet, have you? Jesus. 99,999. Yeah, I remember when I told that you, like, yeah. Yeah. It that just is... caps out. <laughs> to dream the impossible dream. <laughs> oh yeah, we're also singers. Well, I love to sing about the June and the spring. About the June and the, about the moon and the June and the spring. I would hardly call a few years of high school choir being eh, a singer. I've been in a, uh, you know, it's it's a part of our lives. Is it raining? It's been raining all day, dude. Not not everywhere I've been, it, it just finished raining. Well, I've been raining. inside sick all day. Yeah. So, and the rain has not been helping because it's oh, like, yeah it's, yeah, it's like I look outside and I'm like. 
The world is as wet as my body. That does not sound <laughs> like that how like I wanted it to sound. Line. <laughs> like they're on the beach, and they just like lay next to the waves, and he's just like, Someday, girl. Wait, someday? I mean like, soon. Soon you'll be as wet as the ocean. Hopefully not as sandy. <laughs> That's supposed to be a really shitty place to have sex. Never done it myself. Dude! But... I like me neither, but, you know, you can imagine. Sa like, sand in trunks is a horrible feeling. Imagine yeah, that in... In every your crevice. most intimate place. Ugh. An intimate place that you cannot even imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the microphone did not like that well, at that is all. a solid rectangle. That is not even a wavelength. That is... That is a... Well, it's gone now. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Isn't right. it weird that we, like... <laughs> <laughs> Every time something like happens, like we just look over to that. It's like, well, I mean, it, just to see it's how like a toy. Like it's like, oh, that, what, what shape will that make? <laughs> yeah, itchy eye and does not. Can help. we get it to look like the Himalayas? <laughs> <coughs> you can finish this. I know I can. I've, I've done it before, but it's it's a challenge every time. I, when I was younger and I played this game all the time, I could. Mm -hmm. do it much less of a problem. But it's been years, so it's understandable. And like, it, this is this is a very good level to make it the last one, because there's this, the level theme is debris yeah. and a bunch of shit in your way. I keep feeling like you're going to collide into the ice blocks. Yeah, well, they did too. And they're like, yeah. maybe, maybe we should, uh, Maybe we should, you know, hologram those out. Yeah, again, thank you. Thank you, uh, THQ. You, you give the care and attention. You, give you make me feel loved. You make me feel cared for. You get THQ, you give me TLC. You make me feel like a natural gamer. <laughs> didn't think I was gonna bring that home, did ya? No, I didn't. Wasn't Fuck sure where you were gonna go with it. <laughs> God. <coughs> Jesus. Okay. How'd a car get down here, by the way? Oh my no, god. No, no, no! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Did you get. Oh, shit. Bingo, bingo, bongo, I don't want to leave the car. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know why my mind went to that, but... Why your mind went I've to... I've been playing a lot of Fallout 3 recently. <coughs> probably probably on the Oh, most F. Um, so... Ha, it, was that the Andrews sisters? It was, I think, Bing Crosby and the Andrews sisters. Okay. It was definitely the Andrews sisters. Yeah. I like me some Andrews sisters. Yeah, I know. I like me the Cordettes. Can't say I've ever heard any cordettes. Yes, you have. Actually, I probably have. Mr. I just don't Sandman. know it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, that was That was them? That was, lo that was the cordettes. Did not know that. I, and I like them because they're like a female barbershop choir. I yeah. That. I showed you that one from that one college. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was they it? were what, so What great. was the song they did? It was, a, it was a mashup of a few songs. I want to see a barbershop of uh, You Make My Dreams Come True by Holland. Oh. I'm putting that out there as a commission. <laughs> Anyone who wants to sing that song oh, as a barbershop da, quartet. Da, 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 da. Do like it. Like a words candle. And I don't know all the words. Hardly know all the words. Because I listen to it sparsely. Don't know why I can't. i got to rhyme it now with parsley. <laughs> this is why I do not do free verse. <laughs> it's it's why you are not a rap. Uh, an open mic rap night. I could not <laughs> do open mic. Yo, I can do open mic rap, and I like um, fajita raps. <laughs> I forgot it. That is. Beers at home. This is what I do for you. All eight and a half of you. This is what I. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, that's right. Adriana, you just got your new kid. Th uh, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> I do this for you. Everything. Well, isn't that a song? Everything I do, I do for you. Everything I do. I do. Oh yeah, it is a song. I do it for you. Ah, fuck it. Yeah. Um, My dad used to play that in the car a lot. Was a um, okay, again, Hunchback of Notre Dame, just pervading all my thoughts. You know the one part where um. Like in the very beginning, where Frollo, which I always want to say Frodo, but um, <laughs> Frollo, <laughs> Frollo Baggins, Gypsies, Judge Frollo, <laughs> Gypsies, <laughs> his sword turns blue. When the gypsies are around. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Don't make me laugh. God damn it! <laughs> the penguin 
the pebble. Don't make me laugh. All the all the vague references today. Yeah, for real. Um, I never seen that movie. I've only seen that one song. Um, I don't know why. I don't. I think. I think I, I want to say I have seen that one like a long time I ago. Yeah, but, but I don't, like once, um, and as a child, so I barely remember. What was I? What was I talking of? Uh, you were. We were talking about uh, Frollo Baggins. Oh yeah, yeah. When um, when Fro when Frollo is like, si like right after Quasi asks, "Hey, can I go to the festival?" He's like, "No, remember you're ugly and all that. Like you gotta People stay up don't here." People like you because yeah. you're gross. And um, but Frollo says like, "This is your sanctuary." And then Hunchback, and then Quasimodo says, "My sanctuary." And I, and I immediately thought of King Kong. My sanctuary. Yeah. And it's in like, and then that was in a um, then that was they eventually put that in. I think it was like. 3D or Dream Dream Drop. Oh yeah, didn't Quasimodo? Ha well, I don't know if they actually include. I've no, I've not finished Kingdom Hearts, so I don't know. But well, it's, it's not in one or two. It's in one of the DS games, I believe. Okay, I know they had Quasimodo as a summon at one point. Oh yeah, yeah. But no, um, Paris and Notre Dame is a is a world in one of them. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so cutting down to the wire. God, no, no, I made it so far. I've come so. Ah! Ah! Oh! I've come so far. You can do it. You got it. Sing a song. I don't know. Sing, sing, sing a, a song. song. Sing, sing a song. love. Sing, sing a song. Sing it. Sing of good things. Sing it. Not bad. Sing it bad. Sing of happy. Not sad. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing a song. Sing it. Sing it. Sing it. Sing Don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. Just sing, sing a song. I feel so bad for the people. I was about to say, my neighbors hate us right now. <laughs> oh, you don't know how happy that makes me, though. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Well, on that note, I think uh, this episode's good and done for. What was that, like a B flat? Oh, <laughs> oh God. Bye, everybody. <laughs> and I think my microphone might be done for, too. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Boop, boop, smashing, boop.